What up, yo? Welcome back to another episode of Sweet the Man. You dig? Anyway, today's episode, we're gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be giving you guys an update regarding my McLaren 650S, which is under the sheets right now, so you can see. So, um, it's been I believe two weeks now that I've had this car that's been sitting here. I finally pull it back, which I'm gonna be turning the camera in the, uh, momentarily. But I just wanna let. It's been two weeks. I right? two weeks. Uh, the car has been sitting here under the shades and it's been very cold lately it's been about anywhere from between minus 15 uh I'll say minus 12 degrees to minus freaking uh 20 degrees so far that's what we've been having here in canada it's freaking cold and it's been snowing we'll have blizzard we'll have all of that stuff right now so anyways so this car has been here in the garage for two weeks um i haven't really started it hasn't started um, I believe the battery is really completely dead right now. I think the battery is like flat, flat. I tried to boost it the last time and it didn't work. When I was going to tow it the first time, I tried to boost it, it didn't work. Um, I used my trickle charger to try to connect it. That didn't work either. So probably the battery might be the problem, which we're going to be looking into that to see um, if we can get that going. But nonetheless, I moved the car back, which I'm going to be showing you guys just now. So. As you can see, it's been sitting here. Um, before, it used to be all the way over here, all the way over there. So my garage couldn't close. So I did this uh, a few days ago, and it's been sitting here. And I have it plugged in on this trickle charger, which that's supposed to be charging the battery. But I came to find out that the car is completely dead. All right, and obviously, it's kind of dirty but that's not the problem um that can always get clean because um we do have ceramic coating on this so it's very easy to clean uh, but nonetheless bar is dead as you can see from the trickle charger it won't even turn on oh and now it's flicking okay and it came back so I guess there was this shortage. I don't know what it is, but it was off. So I don't know what's going on. I'm pretty sure I have to change the battery. Now, in the previous video, I could get into the car, but now I do have the keys here. Okay. I'm going to try to unlock the car. Nothing. My apologies if the camera isn't focusing, but I can't really do anything about that lock unlock push all the buttons nothing nothing is going on but if we move forward over here i'm just gonna lift that up i could see open the front because you know i'm a genius i left it open boom ta -da. so this was going on here you see, he's still plugged in on the trickle charger. But the battery is freaking... I don't know. I don't know what to make out of this. I really don't know. McLaren is so damn complicated. I really don't know what to tell you guys. I don't know if that is... I think that might be frozen too. I don't know. Like, honestly, yo. Um, this is the worst car to have during winter. So that's all what I can say, honestly. Like, um, I'm gonna see if I can get a new battery, and most likely that should. But regardless, I have to fix the car in order for me to sell it. Cause you already know I'm trying to sell the car. So this is open. Now let's see. Do we have any power here? No. So I was looking at over here. It's y'all see this green. So that's the trunk release, well, the front release, so that doesn't work, so it means it's really that. And again, once again, keys, still nothing, nothing, nothing. So that's what's happening. That's a quick update for y'all about my McLaren under the sheets. Which I think the title of this video should be McLaren under the sheets. But yeah, it's still sitting here in my 
crash and for a few couple days I did had a portable heater that I put in here but that didn't really do anything I'm gonna try to boost it but I already tried boosting it that didn't work and this year another problem that I have here is gonna be over here you as you can see you have the uh, positive and you do have the negative over there here comes the problem so I use this here to plug it in um, the booster cable and obviously this is for the booster cable but I can't seem to take this panel off so this panel with the fuses as you guys can see with the fuses I can't seem to take that off so which obviously in order for me to change the battery I'm gonna have to take that panel off and obviously take the straps take all this off and then change the battery let's see what year is this battery so this is the battery I'm gonna try to flash light on it so this is an OEM battery uh, yeah B I don't even know like does anyone know what I'm looking at if you do know let me know I'm trying to see what year the battery was okay so this battery was things back in June 16 2014 so definitely the battery is dead yep it's a 2014 battery so the problem is the battery now we do know the battery is definitely dead so I'll show you guys where I don't know if you guys can see it from here but it's very hard to tell like right there at the bottom 16 2014 so 16 of June 2014 and that's the McLaren battery so yeah I'm gonna take a picture actually because I'm definitely gonna go see to order a new battery so I tried calling McLaren and they wanted me to use a gen 3 battery which that's like 6k for a J3 battery and uh, no we're not gonna do that absolutely not we are just gonna put just a regular battery and then go from there um, because obviously the battery's dead I'm gonna just take another picture real quick we go yep but yeah so that's an update of what's going on the battery is completely flat and it's an input so I can't really do anything this trickle charger here I don't think that trickle charger is doing anything but I'm just gonna leave it there and thank god I had that open if not what I had to do was go underneath here go underneath y'all can really see I've never really tried it it's no point um, that's where you plug in the keys in order for you to release the door and once you open the door the window is going to drop down which I'm going to show you guys right now so the window is like a little bit open as you guys can tell from here it's a little bit open but when I try opening the door it doesn't work because there's a button right here so when I try pushing that normally once you push it it releases so that isn't gonna work but once you open the the door this window over here it drops down and boom but nonetheless she beautiful I'm gonna miss her absolutely when she's gone with that being said we definitely now we know we need a new battery which I'm gonna be uh, ordering a new battery now yeah lies the problem I'm gonna need someone to come by my house to come change the battery which obviously you can't just have any person to come change the battery so I'm definitely gonna have to get someone by my house to come change the battery and hopefully um, I mean it should work once I change the battery absolutely you know it's from 2014 battery normally lasts about five years so it's been more than five years um, so surprised the battery was still going after this long even though it's a lithium battery which is more expensive but nonetheless, we're gonna be changing the battery and getting everything back in working order. 
and yeah and i have to reprogram my instrument cluster too that's another issue i have to reprogram my instrument cluster and i have to fix the few cap <laughs> so yeah those are three problems that man's gonna take care of that being said if you have any suggestion any leave it down in the comment below you feel me and yeah i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one all right